Hi everyone, it's um, Alicia from Transtastic. Today we're um, hanging out in the Perth Orchard. I'm over here with Sage P Triple BT performing um, with us this year at Transtastic. She also performed at last year's event as well. Yeah, first I'd like to, like to ask, um, what inspired you to become a musician? Uh, and when did you get into music? I think just loving listening to music and finding Let's people who uh, yeah. Yeah. it was fun to play music with. I don't know, I think I was playing music in various ways for a long, long time. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you recently found out about um, throat singing and those kinds of... Yeah, I sort of first heard some like Tuvan Mongolian throat singing maybe like seven, eight years ago, maybe ten years ago. Um, yeah, and I was singing that for a while and then I couldn't sing for a while. Um, but then I started doing that again about three years ago. And yeah, just got a bit obsessed with weird <laughs> singing techniques. And, cool. Yeah. And you sort of co combine a whole, as, as you said, you combine a whole bunch of different techniques together? Uh, yeah, well I first got into Tuvan and Mongolian throat singing, it's like Central Asian stuff. Yeah. Um, but then uh, came across Tanya Tagak, who's an Inuit throat singer, who does amazing stuff. Oh, okay. Um, so that's singing on the in-breath and out-breath. Um, and then started doing like overtone singing on the in-breath, um, which I don't know if other people do, it's probably somebody who does it. And then just got interested in like all the weird things voices can do. So like oh, death that's metal interesting. techniques and like wow. whatever. Oh, interesting. So you're currently studying a PhD, if I'm not... Is that yeah, I just started yeah. this year at WAPA. Um, I went and said, hey, I've never studied music before, but can I do a PhD in music? And they were like, what do you want to do? And I said, weird vocal stuff. And they were like, cool, it sounds awesome. <laughs> It's a bit more complicated than that, but yeah, yeah. And no, I studied um, oh, linguistics. Oh, you studied linguistics. Before, oh, okay. Um, yep. At uh, in Glasgow, and I did my undergrad and honours at UWA. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, but sort of self-taught musician. But I went and spoke to them, and they were like, "Yeah, that sounds awesome. That's really cool. Yeah, it's a really cool, like, diverse, welcoming place. Really? And there's quite a lot of interdisciplinary stuff going yeah. on as well. Which, okay. Yeah, it's really exciting. You state on your website um, that you have interest in feminist, queer and trans politics. Do you feel yeah. that music and other avenues in the arts and entertainment industry can express and, um, and spread um, awareness of such issues? Depends what day it is. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's part of me that believes that exploring um, like music that's outside of the normal mould is sort of Im implicitly questioning you know, normative behavior yeah. or, or type so like exploratory or yeah. experimental music sort of raises the possibility of other ways of doing things mm -hmm. and that's inherently like political or, or even politicizing but then you know there's lots of people who are into like weird experimental music who are not on point with their politics yeah. so I don't know it depends um, I definitely feel like uh, the sort of personal political stuff influences my music um, oh, okay. And if he was entwined with it. But I'm not yeah. sure that anyone listening to myself would necessarily go, oh, that's like feminist music. <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, yeah so we all have um, different stories about um, our journeys in life coming out. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, we'd like to know your, your kind of journey. I feel like I don't feel like I had the sort of. Uh, I don't feel like my journey was like um, realizing that I wasn't a man, I was actually a woman. It was more like thinking gender didn't really matter or like didn't affect me or something like that or like feeling skeptical of the power of it and then like I don't know coming to terms with the fact that it does and that it matters and I have some agency in that yeah um, yeah so I never really identified as a man ever and that never felt comfortable but the sort of thinking about transitioning and stuff came about just through meeting some like real live trans people basically <laughs> like uh, about three or four years ago um, in Glasgow um, oh, wow. and then slowly over a few years kind of sussed some stuff out. I think people's journeys are really really different and that's, that's something to embrace rather than uh, try and make fit into a mold. That's it, even in Little Perth our journeys are all different. Yeah definitely. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I think, I guess uh, Honesty feels important, but I think honesty with yourself as much as that's possible feels at the core of uh, being healthy. Thanks for joining us um, at Perth Orchard today, Sage. No worries. And we, yeah, and we look forward to seeing you performing at Transtastic 2016. Looking forward to being here. Alright, thank you. Thanks. Thanks.